Hi everybody! It is a very, very cold morning here where I'm at. Um, I know there are a lot of people that watch. Y'all may be up on the East Coast. Um, thoughts go out to y'all with this big blizzard that's going on. But anyways, so I hope everybody is staying warm and having a fantastic day. So, I am going to go ahead and put my primer on. I did not do that yet. I did do my eyebrows. Um, have not cleaned them up or anything. Um, have not prepped my eyes um, as well. So, I did go ahead and put the Lancome Genifique. I washed my face. Well, actually, I worked out. Then I took a shower and uh, washed my face, got out. Um, I used the Lancome Genifique Serum. Put that on, let that soak in, and then put the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer on me, and that has been soaking in. Um, you want to let your moisturizer sit for like at least 10 minutes before you start doing your makeup. Um, that way, it can absorb, and it won't counteract with your makeup application. And this right here is just the e.l.f. Putty Primer that I'm putting on. And I use the Benefit Brow Pencil in 04 to do my eyebrows. And like I said, I have not cleaned them up or anything. So, y'all excuse that. And my hair will not stay on my face. I'm wearing my little Georgia shirt today. Our Bulldogs won the national championship a few weeks ago. Super excited about that. I was so happy that they beat Alabama. So I'm just, oof, yeah, not an Alabama fan at all. And I'm so glad they got knocked off their pedestal. So I'm going to put this back on. And all I do is just take like a little bit and I have like a little paintbrush. I just scoop it in there and then just rub it on my face. Y'all excuse my nails. They are jacked up. I've got to go get them redone. So anyways, um, I have started on a workout journey and what I'm doing is some sit-ups every morning and then some uh, leg rep repetitions. Um, I did do some scissor kicks this morning, which was, oh, that was crazy. Um, a lot harder than they look. And then I also um, have an exercise pole that I used as well this morning. Um, and for that, all I do is just, I just put some music on while I'm working out. That way I can get into some rhythm, jam out. It's always good. You don't want to be exercising. I don't want to exercise in quiet. I want to have some music playing. And this right here is the Il Maquillage if I'm a flawless concealer and it's in the shade 08. I'm using that to clean up my eyebrows up here on the top. And I'm gonna use, um, I haven't used it in a minute, but I'm gonna use some Saint makeup today. And y'all know, like I'm like switched back and forth. I'll use my Estee Lauder. I'll use L foundation and concealers. Um, so I figured today I would use my Saint since I've got it. It's just sitting in my drawer. And then for the eye look, I'm going to use my Avera eyeshadow palette that I got, which is just a very, oh, when I get started on my eyes, I'll, y'all know, I show y'all. Um, but it's just gonna be like a very simple look. I'm not going too crazy. Um, I'm not going anywhere today. Well, actually I've got to go to PetSmart and uh, go pick up a couple of my dogs, um, wet food. I've got one that is on prescription food, so she's almost out of her wet. She does wet and dry. And then my Pegasus in Georgia, they have to have sensitive skin and system food. So 
and they do wet and dry as well. So I got to go pick up a couple cases, a case of the diamonds prescription and then a case of Georgian Pegasus wet food. They're almost out. And I'm just using, I just used the It Cosmetics brush. Um, this is an angled liner and it's a number 122. I use that to clean up my eyebrows. It's thin and you can kind of clean them up real close. So I've got that done. And wipe that off. I need to deep clean my brushes. Um, I did post a little short video um, probably about a month ago, a month and a half ago on how to deep clean your brushes. It's good to deep clean them um, like every couple of months. I did it um, maybe like two, two and a half months ago. I do clean them daily and I use the Clinique makeup cleanser. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to get some more of this soon. So, y'all, and I have not used this a minute since I've used this. So, oh, let me get my, there we go. <gasps> I was like, why am I so dark? I didn't have my ring light on. So, actually, what am I doing? I'm like about to put my face on before I do my eyes. <sighs> so, uh, this right here is the e.l.f. concealer and it is sheer. And I'm going to use this to prep my eyes with. And all I do is just put couple of dots on each lid and then I just use my finger um, to blend it out and I didn't dip in there again I just used what was on the brush for both eyes but I hope everybody is just having a good start to the new year I decided to go on this journey to work out and get myself. Now, it's not that, like, I'm overweight or anything like that, because I'm not. I'm tall. I'm 5'9". Um, and when I had my modeling shoot a couple of weeks ago, um, and one of the shots that they did... Um, was in a swimsuit, and I just was not happy. And the lady at the studio for the agency, she was like, no, you're fine. You look fine. You're, And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I guess seeing those pictures just kind of got me to thinking and everything. And I hear some of my dogs about to start barking, y'all. I'm so sorry. So I've got that, and you just want to like make sure that that's dry before you start um, on your eyes. You want to, and then what I'm going to do is, this is some Saint eyeshadows, and I'm going to use a Vera, but I'm going to use this right here. This is Sabrina, and I'm just going to go in with a Precision Shadow number 102. And I'm just going to go in and go over my whole eye with it. And this is just to kind of even out the skin tone on my eyelids. I was like, what am I trying to say? And I just lightly go across with it. kind of sweep it over the eye just for like a base color okay so I've got that on there and like I said you really can't you can't even see it and now put that to the side so I don't pick it up again and I know some um and my friends that they got some snow last night from where I grew up. I'm like, no, we didn't get no snow. All we got was, it's very cold and windy here. Um, this right here is the Avera, and this is called Tango in Paradise. And uh, I've only used this once um, since I got it. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this color right here and it is called Cider. And y'all, like I said, don't look at my nails, they look terrible. Um, and I'm just gonna take, this is an eyeshadow brush from Saint. And I'm just taking the fluffy end and I'm gonna tap this off. And I'm just gonna use this and I'm just kind of lightly going up here on my crease. And yesterday I did a halo eye for the first time and it took me a minute, but it took, yeah, it took a minute for me to get it just the way that I wanted to. I had actually started filming and then I stopped. <laughs> I stopped because it was going kind of sideways. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to keep on filming and post this. Because I wasn't even sure if it was going to come out right. But after some work and playing, it did. But I did post pictures um, on my Instagram page and on Facebook and my beauty group and on my business page. And so I'm just doing the same thing with this eye and I'm just kind of going back and forth with a windshield wiper motion. sure they're even and that's just like a very matte brown color just a little matte brown and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and it's called walnut and I'm gonna use the pencil end and same brush and I'm just gonna hit the outer corner And and just get into that crease right there, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna blend this up some. But yeah, so I'm working out and I'm actually gonna do, I'm doing a fasting diet. And the way that that works is, the one that, I, cause there's different, um, what do you wanna say? There's different ones that you can do, um, different levels of the fasting. Um, but since I really only eat maybe like once, once time a day, um, I am doing the 16 hour fast. And what that means is the last time that I have any food at all is like around seven o'clock at night. And then the majority of my fasting is when I'm sleeping anyway. So I go from seven o'clock at night and then I won't eat again until in the afternoon and I usually eat just like a salad I've been eating salads um almost every day um last week I kind of went off of the salads and um I ate some I made potato soup one day last week and then I believe that was Friday yeah, so last Friday, um, I made some potato soup, and then on Sunday, I made some chicken carbonara last Saturday. So, Monday of this week, I got back on my salad kick, which I love salad anyways, y'all salad. <laughs> 
and so what I've been doing is just putting, um, I use spinach, fresh um, organic baby spinach as the base of it, Not, no lettuce or anything. And then what I do is I'll put some grape tomatoes on there and I will put some green peppers, raw green peppers in, that are cut in strips, some um, baby carrots that I cut into, um, I cut those into strips, put those on there. And then I have some snow peas that I use and uh, I'm trying to see if my eyes are even. And then um, snow peas, a little bit of cheese, um, and then some a little bit of bacon bits, not too much. No croutons. I was putting croutons on there, but um, I'm not doing croutons anymore. And then some light ranch dressing. Super good. Super good, and it's healthy. And then I will snack on, like, some pretzels because pretzels are good. But anyway, so, yeah, that's, like, my whole little, it's going to be my whole little diet journey. And you can really eat anything you want um, when you're not fasting. Like, they say, you know, no restrictions. Eat whatever. Um, there's no, you know, eat whatever you want, but. I've just been doing salads. And I'm going to a bar class next Friday. Super fun. So excited. And really, I don't want to be like the girl that looks like she's completely doesn't know what she's doing. And she's so out of shape at the class either. Okay, so I've got this on. And they look about even. And then what I'm going to do is... Oh, my nose is like kind of stuffy, y'all. Which it was running like super bad earlier this week. I wasn't sick. It was just like my nose was just dripping. And I'm just cleaning off my brush or my towel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this multitasker brush from Saint. And I'm going to go in with this shade in the middle and it's called golden moments and i'm just going to take this i can't i don't think i had to use setting spray when i use this but i can't remember so first thing i'm gonna do is just go on and tap it onto my lid just to see how well it shows up without the setting spray Oh, somebody's walk. Ooh, I know she's cold. Somebody out there exercising, walking in my neighborhood. And I'm just kind of blending this into that walnut shade just to kind of soften that line some. And just kind of taking it upwards into that crease some right there. And all I'm doing is kind of really just patting. Just patting. I'm super excited. My good friend Candace is coming to town on the 19th. She was gonna come last weekend with her sister but we had some snow and the roads were icy and so and because she's about two hours away from me and so she didn't want to and we didn't want you know her to drive and on the roads and stuff because y'all here in the south we are not prepared for we are not prepared for when it snows it could be just a little bit of snow and everything's gonna shut down that's just the way it is here so I've got that eye done, and then I'm gonna go and do the other eye. So yeah, y'all can see I didn't use any setting spray at all. I'm just putting it on, tapping it, and blending it. I'm 
And if y'all hear my TV, I'm watching the Golden Girls. It's my usually go-to in the morning. Usually my go-to. Um, I've probably seen all the episodes. I don't even know how many times. But I love it. I did record the Janet Jackson documentary last night that was on Lifetime, but I have not watched it yet. I think what I'm going to do is, because parts three and four come on tonight, so I think my plan is to just watch it all together. So probably tomorrow, um, I'll watch it. And so y'all see, I just put this color on and just kind of went up into the front part of the crease with it. And then blended it into that walnut color. And this side looks a little bit darker. Now, I'm just going to blend this some. And just blending and softening that. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure these are even. And they look like they think they are. Okay. So got that. So got the eyes done. And now I'm going to start on, and I'm going to pull color underneath my eye and everything once I get my face done. And I'm going to clean this up with some concealer as well. And I'm just wiping all this off. Okay, so I am going to use these three colors right here. And this palette is so dirty. Um, I'm going to use these three right here. So this is going to be my concealer. This is going to be my main, and that's my contour right there. And I know that palette's super dirty, and everything's like all clumped up. So, y'all excuse it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fluffy end of this brush, and I'm going to go in with, uh, let me see. I can't remember. It's been so long, I can't remember which colors are in here. So, ah. That was bad. Let me see here. Okay, got it. I thought I had it in the right order, but was not sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the first color, and that is June, and this is gonna be my concealer. And y'all with that Evera foundation, it does not even, like, there's no fallout. And I'm just taking this and just kind of going like this. And this is a clean up and lift. And then I'm gonna take the same brush and go a little bit here and a little bit here. And then some of my chin. Keep his bow. And with this makeup right here, 
you don't layer it, you just place your colors where you want them and then you blend them all together. Which in a lot of my older videos, I, I use this. Okay, so I've got that here. And then I'm gonna go in with, and this is a, kind of like a full coverage um, brush. And I'm gonna take the smaller end and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And I'm gonna place this. I probably should have hit this with the blow dryer because that's the only thing when you use um, cream makeup and then it's like in the colder months it can get a little bit stiff and what I like to do is place my contour over the main highlight or the main color and I'm really having to I'm really having to work with this because I did not warm it up dip into the wrong color. And, and there's different ways y'all can apply this makeup. It can be done, you can do little dots on your face, kind of face paint, or you can uh, do lines. You can kind of do whatever you want. And I'm going to go over my nose first because for some reason my nose is like super red. And it's been red. So I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. And like I said, you want to let your makeup sit for a few minutes um, with the cream. My skin's being very disrespectful to me. I don't know what's going on with that either. <clears throat> now I'm going to wipe this off. Try and get... Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to go into the contour. And go uh, right here. And the contour is still oof, too much. I'm gonna be blending all this out. And then I saw a really cool hack um, to do for your right here. You just want to put a little bit of contour. Like right here. And then you're just going to blend it upwards. You just kind of want to grab right, right there on your cheekbone. And then I will blend all that up. And then. And y'all know I never do my, I never contour my nose. And then I'm going to take some of this and just.
get my jawline. And then this you want to blend downwards. Okay, so now that I have all that on, I am going to start blending. And for that, I'm going to take this brush right here. I'm going to take a smaller end and I'm just going to start. And you just blend, blend, blend. Oh, we have a movie on now. Huh. I know last night when I was flipping through channels, well, I was looking at the cable guide, Hallmark was showing a Christmas movie last night. I was like, are you kidding me? A Christmas movie? We just had Christmas. We just did like two months of Christmas videos. Okay. So, I've got my contour done up here on my forehead. And then I am just going to start blending this up here on my forehead. And this is just the main highlight and the brightening. Let me get my nose. And then for mature skin, you don't want to do that whole pie shape deal underneath your eye um, because that's just way too much of way too much concealer and it's going to crease. It's going to cake into your fine lines and wrinkles. So you just want to put a little bit right here and out here and then just kind of blend it. And then for your jawline, you want to go downwards. And then I'm going to take this and just go upwards. And do this side but y'all see look at that look how lifted it is so you don't I didn't like do the whole down here and down here I just put some right there in the center and then I'm just blending it upwards and and then if you put too much like if you mess up then just grab Like your main foundation color and just kind of clean it up some so and that was like super fast like y'all saw how fast i got that done very very quick and then this gives like a dewy finish um but if you want a more um matte which I'm kind of, and this is the brightening right here. I want to go in with more of a matte finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Cody Air Spun Powder. Air Spun Powder. It's a loose face powder, y'all. This stuff is so like this stuff has been around forever. Um, I remember my sister used this when I was younger. But I'm going to use, this is translucent, translucent, can't talk, extra coverage. And uh, all I'm going to do is just take a dry, and then you know what, I didn't even do before I, I need to take a damp beauty blender and just kind of go across my face. And this, I just hit it with some setting spray. And what I'm going to do is just dab this 
and this will pick up any extra product and push the makeup into your skin. Which is what you, especially with older, mature skin, you really want to press it in there. Compact so I can see. Y'all, I'm blind. And I'm just going across, just making sure that I pick up everything. Okay. Now I'm going to take some powder. And then after I do this, I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. Um, just to bring some. And I'll just do this to set the makeup. Um, when you have mature skin as well, you don't want to like bake. So I'm just putting this on and I'm going to take a brush and just quickly wipe off that excess. Oh, I'm trying to like look at my big mirror behind me. And y'all see, I'm kind of dabbing this in. But then I'm going to take this and just sweep it across my face and just get that extra, get that extra powder off. Oof. Now I like remember why I love that sink makeup so much because I could get it done like get my face done so fast. Okay, so I've got that, and now I'm going to. Where's my bronzer? I'm gonna take some of this NARS, um, and it is Laguna, and I love this stuff. I got a little sample of it. Um, for my birthday at Sephora. And I'm just gonna, I know y'all see, I'm just using this brush and I'm just kind of going right here just to bring some warmth back into my face. And plus, you know, to give that summer glow. And I'm just putting a little bit here. And then, go right above that contour, and do the same thing over here, and it actually works like it's a really good blush as well. Um, I usually don't even put anything, um, I will use blush every once in a while, but Sometimes I'll just use this. And then I'm just going to put a little bit right here. All right. So, I've got that done. Now what I'm gonna do is go back in and do my under eye. And actually, I think I may put a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Brown Sugar. Put a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eye to brighten that up. Do the same thing with this eye.
All right. And then I'm going to put a little bit right here, just on the inner part, outer part of my um, eyebrow. And once again, this is just to kind of brighten up that look. I'm actually loving how this eyeshadow came out. It came out really good. Y'all know I never know how something's going to come out. So now I'm going to take this same brush, this same brush, and I'm going into that shade Cider. And, and I'm going to go down with that and do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm going to go into that shade Walnut, that dark brown that I used on the outer corner. And I'm going to drag that up as well. And do the same thing on this eye. See, I'm just dragging this up. Put a little bit more over here. And then I'm going to use that fluffy brush and just blend it all together. Okay, now I am going to do some lashes. And the lashes that I'm using are the Avera I Am Beautiful. It's just super good magnetic lashes. I love them and uh, I'm gonna do a couple of coats of the liner you want to do one coat let it dry and then do another coat and let that dry and then put your lashes on and I try not to be too messy when I'm applying my liner, but y'all, you know, the struggle can be real when you're using one hand. Oh, shoot fire. Of course, I got some up there. Hate when I do that. I'm so good lately. And now, of course, when it dries, I'm gonna take um, like an eyebrow bristle and brush and just scrape it off. Some in my, I got some in my lash. I had it all in my lashes yesterday, and it was <laughs> bad trying to get it off. It was so bad. I had to sit there with some, which the stuff comes off. I use my cellar water. And it really comes off with that. 
but I was sitting there with a Q-tip and everything. Oh, this, I went all kinds of crooked. That's okay, I can fix it when I do the next coat. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm going to, this is a um, dual ended brow from it and if you ever like get liquid liner or whatever on your eyelid or anywhere in your face, just let it dry. And then just take this kind of brush and it'll scrape right off. It'll come right off. And then I'm gonna do another coat. And See if I can fix this off so it doesn't look so crazy. I usually start in the middle with liquid liner and then hit the inner. And there, I've got it fixed. Super easy. I'm gonna put some mascara, while I wait on that to dry, I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes. And this is Elf Lash It Loud. And I love this mascara, it's so good. And then put a little bit on my real lashes. Well, on my lashes. Before I apply the lashes. And this is just so it they kind of blend together. Do the same thing on this eye. Oh wait. Oh, I stabbed myself in the eyeball, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me today. And it looks like I have some magnetic liner. Oof, get that off. Okay, got that off my finger so I don't get it everywhere on my face. And, uh, and like I said, I'm just lightly going over my lashes. I don't know, some people will put mascara on after they have their lashes on, but. I kind of like to do it before, okay. Well, I'm sure that liner's ready. And then I'm just gonna take my little tool, flip them this way, and I've already cut these, y'all. And these right here, you get 30 wears out of them out of one set and just put it on in the middle and then I'll go and put it on the edges and then 
then just take this and squeeze them together. But these are like super easy to put on and they will stay on for 12 hours. And I know I don't use this tool all the way like you're supposed to, but hey, I use it however I can get it on. And I'm gonna do the other side. And these are five magnet. Avera has five magnets and 11 magnets. This is a five magnet. And then, let's see. And I've got it on in the middle. And then just go down and there we go. And I just take this end of it just to press it on there really good. Here we go. And if you need to like adjust them or whatever, you can. Which is what I'm gonna look like. I'm gonna have to do with this one. This one's not cooperating with me. There we go. All right, lashes are on. Let me put some lip gloss on and then I will be all finished. This right here is Mellow Cosmetics. This is a St. Tropez and I love this lip gloss. It's so, it's like a very good, like, um, brown, nude color. All right, y'all. So, this is my look for today. And I hope y'all have enjoyed hanging out with me. And I will. Oh, some static. And I will be seeing y'all later. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. Bye.